All right. Hello, Periscope. Good morning. Good morning. Hello there. It is 11 a.m. Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. I'm putting my, my phone on um, airplane mode so that nobody will, um, no calls will interrupt my Periscope this morning. Hey, everybody. Thank you. I see some returning, uh, some names, some returning people. You all know how we do it here on my Periscopes. Um, thank you. I can't wait to be at your church next month at Harvest Tabernacle. Yes. Um, but on my scopes, all I ask, I just have one rule, and that is that you do a dash with your first name so that I can greet you properly. That's it. I love uh, serving and hospitality, so I enjoy making sure that I treat everybody special. Hello, hello, hello. Um, let's see. All right, who's on? Let me see. Give me some names. Who's on? Dr. Aker's on. Oh, you guys know my favorite optometrist is on. Miriam Elaine is on. Good morning. Hey, Dr. G, she did a scope this morning, you guys. Make sure you click her name and follow her. Hey, Angel, good, mo Angel, good morning. Byron's on, my scope scribe. Uh, Angel's on. Hey, Rochelle. Santina, good morning. Portia, Pastor Jamal's on. Ciara, Monica, Lady Jocelyn, and Joanna. Wow. Um, you guys, I'm so excited. Hey, Taz, uh, Donetta. Kendrick's on. Hey, Ty. Listen, I hope you guys can see my face. Somebody said they can't see my face. I see it uh, clear. So I um, I wanted to um, uh, make sure that we got a good signal before we get started. Hey, Sheila, give me a thumbs up and some hearts if we've got a good signal. Thank you, Rochelle, for saying that you guys can see me. Good, good, good. It is Friday, you guys. Yes, thank God it's Friday. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about... Um, you know, it, it's time to, to uh, reach your potential. You know, reaching your potential is so important. It's the key to happiness, if you ask me. One of the reasons why I'm so extremely happy in what I do is because I am living out my purpose, which is enabling me to reach my potential. So you guys ready to talk about reaching your potential? Give me some hearts if you're ready to talk about that. Uh, let me just go ahead for those that are new. Uh, anybody, is it your first time? If it is, just type one in the comment box so that I can see if I've got any new folks on my scope this morning. You all, while they're doing that, if you would, you can slide to the right if you're on iPhone or scope up uh, to the top. <laughs> and uh, if you're on Android and let invite people to join the scope. That's right, Ty. You know what, you guys? Let me just go ahead and share this really quickly. Um, I am going to do church chat uh, each day at 11 a.m. That's kind of like the universal church service time. So I decided that my scope service would be every day at 11 a.m. So put that uh, in your phone. At 9 o'clock, I'll probably do something for my entrepreneurs because the early bird gets the worm. And so I want to make sure my entre entrepreneurs are up and at it at 9 o'clock. And so if 9 o'clock, you'll probably get me from my home office. And 11 a.m. for church chat, you will get me here in my studio so welcome to all my first timers listen you guys um you're gonna enjoy this i want you all to um those that have been with me before you know that i give a lot of information so make sure you've got something uh to take some notes with you all see my little uh, notepad and pen and even my phone um okay you gotta go you'll catch me next 11 a.m no problem i look forward to seeing you i might even do it tomorrow who knows? Um, yeah, we work, we work in my Periscope. Hey, Cookie. Um, so for those of you all that are new to Periscope, of course, this is my live video stream. Just my opportunity to come and to pour into you all today. So um, last week, I kind of lost last week because I wasn't feeling well. I um, had unexpected um, a procedure and all that stuff, but your girl's good. I'm back. Uh, in fact, I'm in my office today. So next week, um, I'll be 100%. So I'm going to do church chat at 11 a.m. And then we'll do the success suite with Robin at 9 a.m. So the 9 a.m. show is for my entrepreneurs. And the 11 a.m. show is for my church audience. So as you know, I've been sharing that. I've been preparing. I've got a couple, uh, two engagements coming up before the end of the month where I'm going in and speaking, doing church leadership, uh, leadership training. And in fact, let me pause real quick. Uh, I want to 
just encourage those that uh, are pastors or executive pastors or serve in some sort of pastoral capacity. I want to just give you a word of encouragement. In fact, I'm going to pray as well. Um, I received a call this morning and um, very disturbing call from a pastor and a female pastor. And she was sharing with me that she was going through some uh, major opportunities uh, in her church. And so you all know that I don't like to use the word challenge challenges. Hey, Bishop Van, uh, but I use the word opportunities. Now, I'm not a pastor, but Lord knows I have a heart for pastors. And so I come in as a church consultant and I help them from uh, church marketing, church growth, uh, church leadership training, uh, because I have been blessed. I have been in ministry, um, goodness, for about 18 years. I even worked full time uh, at New Birth, which is uh, at the time was one of the largest churches in the country, 25,000 members as the director of events and conferences. Y'all just flow with me. The Holy Spirit's leading me here. So I'm going to get to my training, but I just want y'all to flow with me. Give me some hearts if you're good with just flowing with me. I appreciate it. I truly, truly appreciate it. You know, but I'm a minister at my core. And so I've got to be sensitive to the moving of the Holy Spirit. And so um, working at New Birth, I was the director of events and conferences. And so I put together amazing events all across the United States and uh, even did a women's conference uh, in the Bahamas. I took a group of 140 people to Africa. Maybe one day I'll tell you all that story. Uh, you can look at your girl and, and tell um, it was a missions trip that I, I'm, I'm not a missionary and I don't make any uh, bones about that. Uh, everything about me is um, city girl. And so though I did go to Africa, I put the trip together. Your girl didn't do any type of missions work. Uh, but I'll tell you that story uh, later on. But anyway, um, I just met a lot of pastors throughout my journey. From working there at New Birth, working with the different sons and daughters of the senior pastor. And then even at my current church, uh, Changing a Generation, I'm involved with Full Gospel. I meet a lot of, of pastors. Thank you so much for saying you love my transparency. I, that's just all I know, you guys. I have to be myself. And so um, I, though I'm a meeting planner by profession, I do marketing, PR, branding, all that stuff. But I saw um, a lot of churches that needed structure. They needed systems. Uh, their leaders needed training. You know, when I worked in corporate America, we were mandated to spend at least 40 hours, a full work week in some sort of training throughout the year. And so I found that working in ministry, even though not the whole team was on the payroll, the whole team served in a leadership capacity that were responsible for influencing souls. And so we have to require ongoing development. You know, um, and I'm not saying this because it's me, but there shouldn't be a weekend that I'm not on the road working in somebody's church. Meaning that churches ought to be offering that much training to their leadership. And I have other friends, Pastor Jamal's on, Dr. G's on. You know, I got lots of friends that do church leadership training and all of that. So it's not just about me. Um, in fact, I am a giver. I refer people all the time. I, I'll teach you another time if you get on one of my success suite scopes that, you know, all money's not good money. And so um, I have to make sure that where I go is a fit for my personality. Because um, your girl's not going to lie. You know, I have to be transparent. And this is a business, so I get paid. And so when I talk to churches that don't understand that, um, I don't always go. Y'all give me some hearts if you are right with that. Because I am doing the business side of ministry. Now, if you invite me in to preach, that's a whole different ball game. And I don't even ask you about what you're going to pay me um, or if you're going to pay me. Because I understand that that's my reasonable service. And don't get it twisted. Your girl wants to get paid. Absolutely. Right? But I'm just saying, uh, but on the business side, when you invite me in as a church consultant, we do handle business. And so I make sure that, um, that you know, my travel's right, hotel's right, all, all that stuff. You all know that. But anyway, um, doing these periscopes, yes, I enjoy teaching and pouring into people, but I'm just as blessed. You guys are sending me emails and buying my products and uh, supporting me and praying for me today. In fact, I got some flowers. If you guys go to my Instagram, you'll see that someone sent me flowers. I just, I love flowers. So I thank, thank that person so much for thinking about me, uh, just thanking me. And they knew I had been, had been feeling well. So they just wanted to send me some flowers. 
So um, anyway, but there's a ministry side uh, to what I do. Uh, the foundation of what I do is, is ministry. I know y'all laughing that I'm sweating. Y'all, I sweat because of these lights. I told you guys I'm a brown girl, so I got to make sure that I got light so that I illuminate well on the screen. But anyway, um, so I got to get a diva cup, and now I need to get a diva hanky so I can adapt myself properly. But anyway, I got a call this morning from a pastor, and she just kind of poured out her heart. And she was saying to me that uh, she just became a senior pastor. And uh, look, somebody said, pull out the fan. I'm in my office, though, you guys. But anyway, um, she was saying that she just took over as a senior pastor, and she has really got her hands full. Her uh, elders have basically revolted um, against her. Is that the way you say that? Um, and uh, of course, they don't have her heart. She's only been there, I think, two months. And so, um, and, and you, you can't, everything can't be taught. Some things have to be caught. Where's my scope scribe? Uh, put that in the box for me. Everything can't be taught. Some things must be caught. So give me some hearts if you guys agree with that while I get a scope scribe on. My scope scribe is just somebody that types what my uh, tips are in the comment box for me. So who's it going to be today? I really appreciate it. Who? Let's see who's going to be. There we go. Thank you so much. There you go. There's Byron. Thank you. Everything can't be taught. Some things must uh, be caught. Caught, you guys. C-A-U-G-H-T. Thank you, Byron. Appreciate it. Caught, not tied. There's Dr. G. And so um, there's no quick fix. She literally said to me that um, she wanted to, you know, work with me and I'm going to go in and I'm going to meet with her and, and kind of talk her through it. But you guys, my transparency uh, this, mo this morning is to say that um, don't assume your pastors have all the answers. Hey, Nate King, good to see you. Um, Y'all give them a little slack. They are human just like we are. They deal with issues that we deal with. Their homes, you know, they have ups, they have downs. They have children that have needs. Um, we're, you know, we're spiritual sons and daughters of our pastors, but the biological sons and daughters of our pastors, they have first priority to their pastor. And so um, when the pastor gets to church, they don't need help from us. When you don't understand the vision of the house, it is not for you to wreak havoc in the house. So that's my second point, Scope Scribe. Hey, Yvette, if you don't understand the vision of the house, it is not for you to wreak havoc in the house. Yeah, think about that. Is your presence, your participation, your leadership, is it an asset or a liability to your pastor? Think about that. I have days, good days, bad days, where I don't feel, you know, that I am, you know, totally transparent, that I totally get everything that my pastor's doing, but I support the vision. And so because I trust God, I trust that my man of God hears from God and so that's the vision that he's implementing. And so I'm in full alignment. Yeah, I'm in full alignment. And so um, my pastor, in fact, uh, Bishop Paul S. Morton, again, you guys, and I'm still working on getting him on Periscope. I talked to him about it just um, uh, Wednesday. Uh, but uh, he, he gave up his, um, I know that's right, the Peter Agency will cut off anyone who harms the leader. Um, but he gave up his birthday gift because we normally celebrate the pastor and we'll give him um, a holy handshake. Y'all know what a holy handshake is? <laughs> Y'all put some hearts on the screen if you know what a holy handshake is. That means you put a little something in your hand. Then when you shake his hand or her hand, they have a little blessing there uh, from you. And I, I try to do that quite often with my pastors. But anyway, um, he gave up his birthday and because we have some financial needs at our church. Now, you guys, I don't know about you all, but my birthday is a national holiday in my world. Like that day, y'all, we made Periscope all day, right? Birthdays are big. And so for this man to make the sacrifices that he makes, there were some months when he didn't share the true financial needs of our house. And so he was writing checks. And I mean, big girl checks. 
you all that follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you all know uh, when I go shopping and I go to, you know, Saks or Neiman Marcus, I always say I'm doing my big girl shopping because, you know, you got to write big, big checks or big cash when you go to those stores. Um, I mean, don't hate this little dress is from New York and company. So I do high low. Um, it's all about, you know, I wear the dress. The dress doesn't wear me. So, um, but anyway, you know, he was writing big boy checks to help make sure that our, our, our bills were paid and that our, um, our, our financial needs were met is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, uh, don't assume you guys that, um, you know, just because we want to meet with the pastor and we want to share our heart that they ought to hear us. Come on now. We are the leaders. We are the mature ones. You know, when you don't understand the vision, you go to God about that and you ask God for clarity. Absolutely. Yes, Bishop is awesome. Thank you so much. But okay, so um, yes, don't assume pastor has all the answers and don't assume that he's not human. I tease my pastor all the time and I tell him, Bishop, when you get in the pulpit, you turn into Superman because he's really an introvert and a kind of quiet person, right? And so um, very mild mannered. His wife on the other side, love, love, love her, uh, Pastor Deborah Moore, and she's the extrovert. And so they make a really good team. But you, you can't assume that, um, absolutely, I'm going to pray in just a moment. I'll add that prayer as well. So um, you can't assume that your pastor can take you on that day. Oh, somebody put that in there for me. You can't assume that your pastor can take you on that day. See you guys. Yeah. Some of you guys are a lot. Yeah. Some of you are a lot. Some of us. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll put me in it. I have my days where I, you know, I, I want to be heard. You know, I want to meet with the pastor. I want to say X, Y, Z, you know, thank God I've matured. And so I don't really feel that way anymore. But some of us can be a lot when we're trying to, you know, get our point across. Y'all see the net going? <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are so funny. Thank you so much. You guys share on this broadcast. Make sure if you're on an iPhone, you just slide to the right. And then um, for those of you uh, on your Android uh, you sw uh, slide up to the top. Okay. So, um, anyway, I, um, I had a whole teaching here. I promise you, um, maybe I'll have to do it later. Um, but, um, Dr. <laughs> uh, let me see what the comments are. I resigned as pastor moved to another city while wow, this is bringing tears to my eyes. Wow. Hi, hi, Pastor Vernell. Again, you guys, I'm not a pastor, but I am a leader that loves God, right? Um, oh, absolutely. How do I get saved? You can get saved right on this broadcast. Now, you're going to make the preacher and me uh, come out. All you have to do is just ask. All you have to do is say uh, that you want to be saved, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior, and he will come into your life. And I'm telling you, it's as simple as that. So thank you so much even for asking on this Periscope. Ooh, you guys, I'm getting full. I feel like I'm going to cry now. Um, but listen, I do want to pray. Uh, I am going to, uh, uh, we got a few more minutes on this Periscope and then I have to go. So it doesn't look like I'm going to get to do the teaching today, if you guys will forgive me. But I have to do what the Holy Spirit leads me to do. All you have to do if you want to do the hearts is touch the uh, bottom right hand corner of your screen. Just tap, 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 tap and you'll give me some hearts. You're only allowed to do like 500 hearts per broadcast. Uh, let's see who can give me 500 today, though. I'm, I'm willing to take them. So thank you guys so much. But before we pray, uh, before I close out in prayer, though, uh, uh, any more questions? Uh, let's pray for our pastors. Let's keep them covered. Uh, as a leader, uh, we want to be a blessing and not a liability. Uh, you don't want people to want to turn, your leaders in particular, turn the other direction when they uh, see you, uh, coming. So, um, uh oh, y'all know, I believe in the, uh, block ministry. So let me block this, this bozo. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I will block you. This is my periscope, Robin M. Ware. So, um, I, I don't, I don't deal with foolishness on my, uh, <laughs> on my periscopes. Um, so anyway, uh, Pastor Cooper, I was just talking about a pastor that gave me a call this morning and just said that her leaders were really, really giving her a hard time. And so, um, and I don't, I don't know, 
you know, two sides, well, three sides to every story, her side, their side, and the truth. But at the end of the day, she is the set woman of that house. And so she was near, she was nearly in tears and just saying she was glad that she found me uh, through Periscope and she wanted to have me come in and, and work. I see you, Pastor DuPont. She likes my Chanel uh, pin this morning. I told you I'd do high-low. This little dress is probably all of $20, but the brooch, well, that's a whole nother subject. I'm not going to go there. Uh, but uh, God is good. So, oh, my Bishop Hutchins is on. You guys, please follow him. Make sure that you uh, tap the box with his name and then follow. But um, I work I work with pastors and I hear these stories and they say, you know, how can we get more leaders like you? I wasn't always this sensitive to my leaders. I was the type of leader out of passion. I served um, and I didn't, I, I didn't, um, I didn't always respect those that served with me, all right? And so what happened, I got the job done, but I left dead bodies all over the place. Come on, Scope Scribe, put that up for me. I was a leader, an effective leader, but I left dead bodies all over the place. So I would get assigned to lead a campaign or plan an event and the event would come off wonderfully. And I'd have a team of six or seven people. I see all the hearts you guys under, understand. Um, okay, here we go. Let me, let me do the block ministry for you. All right, y'all give me block. There you go. All right. Um, but I was effective. I got the job done. However, people didn't want to work with me. So there were dead bodies all over the place. And so I realized that uh, I was not doing ministry, but it was misery. Come on, y'all. I had to be honest and true to myself. And that's how I've grown and become the leader that I am. So ask yourself, is, your, is what you do at your church ministry as a leader? You're serving your pastor, you're serving for God, but is it ministry or misery? Wow. I hope that blesses somebody on today. So um, thank you guys for the hearts. Uh, I'm so glad though that now my my uh, efforts are ministry. That's why I love uh, that God gives people second chances. I have to give people second chances and people gave me um, a second chance. So um, if you find, and I'll pray for you as well. I got a couple things I'm going to pray for today. But if you find you're that type of leader that people don't eagerly sign up to work with, I want you to do a heart check. I want you to do a heart check. So you can be as fabulous as you want to be. And honey, I was. I was all of that. But I'm telling you, just killing people. Just killing people. Yep. And then I wondered why I wasn't getting promoted advancement opportunities in the natural. I wasn't even dealing with what was not happening for me in the spiritual. Woo. Come on, y'all. All righty. So let's get ready to pray. Uh, let's see. What am I praying for today? So uh, scope scribe, I'm praying for pastors. Uh, I'm praying for, I think somebody put on the screen that they're uh apostle was sick yes i'll pray for salvation well those three things um but you guys see how see how awesome periscope is uh, i don't know how many we have on we have a, normally about six or seven hundred people on uh, my scopes um each day so i'm just excited that uh the lord is allowing me to use uh periscope uh to uh get his uh, message across Wow, pray for domestic violence, uh, someone with a kidney transplant, uh, someone just saying pray for me. Um, good, I'm glad that you all have been blessed today. Um, absolutely. All righty, depression. All right, let's go forth, you guys. Father God, I just thank you. I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity just to come uh, to your people to pour into their hearts, God. Lord, so that uh, you use me, God, so that what I'm saying, God, is they're your words, God, and not mine. Lord, right now, uh, I ask you, God, to just show up first as Jehovah Shalom, God, the God of peace. I thank you, Lord God, and ask you to put peace, God. Give them peace that surpasses all understanding in the lives of pastors, God, in the lives of leaders, God. Let them know, God, that uh, all things do truly work 
uh, for the good of them. God, I thank you, God, that you are holy, you're worthy, God, and that uh, as long as they serve as unto you, Lord God, that they can't go wrong. I ask you right now, God, uh, to be Jehovah Rapha, God, a healer, God. You saw the needs on the screen, God. Those dealing with depression, domestic violence, God, sickness, uh, any other type of illness, God. I just need you to show up, God, as a healer for them on today, God. And for those, God, that are perplexed and don't know what their assignment is in ministry, God that they're still dealing on the side of misery, God. I ask you, God, to restore them, God. Give them the fullness of joy, God. Give them happiness, God. Lord, we love you, we trust you, we honor you, God. And we know, God, that you do all things well. God, and even those that were like me, ooh, God, I thank you, Father, that were not intentionally not handling your people right, and that we're leaving dead bodies all over the place. Let them know, God, that they've been forgiven. Thank you, God, that yes, restoration, God, in fact, has been done, God. And for those, God, that have uh, asked how to get to know you, God, I thank you, Lord God. Just come into their lives, God. Let them know, God, that they are yours, that they are a king's kid. We thank you, Jesus, on today. Today is uh, the day like no other, God. New mercies, new mercies, new mercies. That's what your word says, are new every day. So today we claim new mercies. Lord, we love you and we honor you. I thank you, Lord, for trusting me, God, even with this audience. I'm not worthy, God. Lord knows you know I've done some things that truly count me out. But I thank you that your grace and your mercy, God, have removed the stain and cleaned my slate. Lord, I love you and I honor you. I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, everybody, let's put in the comment box, amen. Ooh, thank you, Father. Yeah, God is good, y'all. I'm telling you, he is good and he is good all the time. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you all for the hearts. Absolutely. You can do the hearts on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Whew, you guys are awesome. Again, I had a had a full teaching here. We'll do it another time. You all know I come to you prepared. Uh, but I've I've been, you know, I have to be um uh obedient uh to the leading of the Holy Spirit. So thank you guys so much for trusting me uh with your time on today. God bless. I'll try my best to get back with you guys today, but if not uh tomorrow. Alrighty. God bless you all. Bye-bye.